Dive into the world of haute couture, stitch together new words, as Maya designs clothes inspired by history. So, let's embark on our narrative journey. The sewing machines clattered away, a happy rhythm filling the giant hall. But, Maya's stomach was doing flip-flops. She felt like a lost fish in a sea of fancy clothes. St. Clair Fashion Academy was a whole other world compared to her tiny town and its comfy clothes. Here, everything shimmered and sparkled, a world of haute couture. That made her eyes widen. But Maya wasn't there to be scared. Fashion, in its myriad forms, was her passion. Her fingers just itched to transform plain fabric into something extraordinary, something that spoke volumes about who you were. As she walked down the busy hallways, she saw incredible outfits, a chiffon dress that glimmered like moonlight, a denim jacket with embellishments, and a fun play suit with graphic patterns all over it. Each piece seemed to tell a story from a different time, with the designer's ideas stitched into every seam. One rainy day, Maya was poking around a dusty corner of the library when she found a hidden doorway. So, taking a deep breath, she pushed open the creaky door. Her jaw dropped. The room was like a time capsule, filled with clothes from way back when. Racks overflowed, with delicate dresses that looked like they came from a fancy Victorian picture book, all frills and lace. On a stand nearby, a sparkly dress glittered like a disco ball, reminding her of old movies, with dancing and flappers. Carefully, Maya picked up a faded blue dress that looked like an hourglass. The soft fabric felt smooth under her fingers. Cool shapes were stitched onto the top, making a mesmerizing design. Her mind raced with ideas, picturing a modern version of this classic dress. Suddenly, a voice startled her. Miss Du Bois, the teacher who was a walking encyclopedia of fashion history, stood in the doorway. She usually seemed grumpy, but now she looked a little surprised. What are you doing here, Maya? She asked, a bit nicer than usual. Maya stammered and explained what she found. Miss Du Bois, whose knowledge spanned decades of sartorial evolution, realized how important this room was. It was a secret fashion archive where students for years had learned how clothes were made by studying these forgotten treasures. She knew this discovery was like finding the holy grail of vintage fashion. From then on, Maya spent every free moment in that room looking at dusty fashion magazines and learning how each piece was carefully put together. These old styles became her inspiration, their shapes and techniques forming the base for her own designs. She learned the fancy stitching tricks used way back in Victorian times, the cool draping techniques from the Art Deco era, and how to make clothes comfy and practical, just like people liked them in the mid-20th century. Inspired by the past, Maya started sketching her own clothes. They were a mix of old-fashioned shapes and totally modern ideas. A long, flowing dress with a top that looked like something from a Victorian picture book was made out of fabric with bright flowers all over it. A one-piece outfit borrowed its sharp lines from the Art Deco era, but with cool neon colors added on. When the big student fashion show finally arrived, Maya presented her collection with a smile that wouldn't quit. The judges, who were famous fashion designers, couldn't believe their eyes. They saw more than just pretty clothes. They saw a connection between the past and present, a reminder of how cool fashion history is. Maya's journey from a nervous newcomer to a rising star in the fashion world, showed everyone the power of curiosity, hard work, and the magic hidden in unexpected places. As the show concluded, Maya felt a wave of satisfaction. Her designs had bridged the gap between history and modernity, and the judge's praise was the cherry on top. With newfound confidence, she looked forward to her next creation, knowing she had only just begun. Congratulations on completing Maya's fashion fairy tale! Your dedication to learning English is impressive! 
Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number one, sewing machines clattered. The sound made by sewing machines operating quickly and continuously. Number two, giant, very large in size. Number three, stomach was doing flip-flops, feeling nervous or anxious. Number four, fancy, elaborate or decorative. Number five, comfy, comfortable. Number six, shimmered, to shine with a flickering light. Number seven, sparkled, to shine brightly with flashes of light. Number eight, haute couture, high-end fashion that is custom-made. Number nine, fashion, in its myriad forms, fashion in its many different types and styles. Number 10, passion, a strong feeling of enthusiasm or excitement for something. Number 11, extraordinary, very unusual or remarkable. Number 12, spoke volumes, conveyed a lot of meaning or information. Number 13, chiffon, a light, sheer fabric. Number 14, glimmered, to shine faintly or unsteadily. Number 15, denim jacket, a jacket made from denim fabric. Number 16, embellishments, decorative details or features. Number 17, play suit, a one-piece garment with shorts. Number 18, graphic patterns, bold, striking designs. Number 19, stitched, sewn together with needle and thread. Number 20, poking around, searching or exploring in a casual or slow manner. Number 21, creaky, making a high-pitched sound when being moved or when pressure or weight is applied. Number 22, jaw dropped, a reaction of great surprise or amazement. Number 23, time capsule, a container storing a selection of objects, buried for discovery in the future. Number 24, overflowed, to be so full that the contents spill over. Number 25, delicate, very fine in texture or structure. Number 26, frills, decorative fabric strips. Number 27, glittered, shown with a bright, shimmering, reflected light. Number 28, flappers, fashionable young women in the 1920s known for their energetic freedom. Number 29, hourglass, a shape with a narrow middle, resembling an hourglass. Number 30, mesmerizing, captivating or spellbinding. Number 31, classic, serving as a standard of excellence, traditional. Number 32, startled, to cause someone to feel sudden shock or alarm. Number 33, walking encyclopedia of fashion history, someone with extensive knowledge about fashion history. Number 34, stammered, spoke with sudden involuntary pauses and a tendency to repeat the initial letters of words. Number 35, decades of sartorial evolution, many years of changes and developments in fashion. Number 36, Fashion Archive, a collection of historical fashion pieces. Number 37, Holy Grail of Vintage Fashion, a highly sought after and valuable collection of old fashion items. Number 38, Put Together, Assembled or Created. Number 39, Inspiration, the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially something creative. Number 40, Draping, Arranging Fabric in Loose Folds. Number 41, Art Deco, a style of visual arts and design that first appeared in France before World War I. Number 42, Practical, Sensible and Realistic in terms of its design and use. Number 43, Old Fashioned, and or according to styles or types no longer current. Number 44, Connection, a relationship in which a person or thing is linked or associated with something else. Number 45, Couldn't Believe Their Eyes to be very surprised or shocked by what one is seeing. Number 46, unexpected, not anticipated or predicted. Number 47, rising star, a person or thing that is growing in popularity or importance. Number 48, fashion show, an event where designers present their latest collections of clothing and accessories on models. Number 49, grumpy, bad-tempered and irritable. Number 50, concluded, came to an end. Number 51, Wave of satisfaction, a strong feeling of contentment. Number 52, bridge the gap, connected two different things or ideas. Number 53, cherry on top, an additional benefit that makes something already good even better. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. 
Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.